Uh, a young man asks, I'm a person who struggles with same-sex attraction. I understand um, that my attraction was because of the lack of love for my father and other factors as well, which manifested in lusting after older men. Um, where can I find love to fill this heart? Is divine love actually enough, or do we as human beings still need earthly love? Oh, that's such a great question, Al. So um, if this is uh, this young man who's written... Um, that's great insight also into your own heart, into your own psyche, into your own like that, that sense of saying, okay, I can recognize that here I have this experience and this experience has a source. And that that's, and, and also not only does that ser ser uh, experience have a source, it has a, a longing. Like there's a, there's something that my, uh, my heart aspires to and something I desire. So even just your ability to identify that, um, I think that's, that's a grace. I really do think that's a grace. Um, so Yes and no. <laughs> um, I would say that there is a longing that the human in the human heart that can only be satisfied by God. And 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 there's a healing in the human heart that can only be offered by Jesus, uh, by God, the father, by Jesus, the son, the, by the Holy Spirit. And so there's a part of uh, of every human being that we and we all have this. And so I'm so grateful that you have that insight into your heart of saying like, oh, here's a wound that I'm experiencing or here's something that I that a longing that I'm experiencing that I know won't reach fulfillment if I, I act on it by, you know, seeking out romantic relationships with older men. And so what happens is that I'm going to seek healing from God, the father, I'm going to seek healing from Jesus, my brother, I'm going to seek healing by the gift of the Holy Spirit and that intimacy and relationship with him. So there are some longings of the human heart that can only be filled by God. But I, 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 this might be going saying too much, but I also think, I wonder, I'll say this. I wonder if there's also some longings of the human heart that can only be filled by human beings, that God has made us for relationship still that yes, he's made us for relationship with himself, but he's also made us for relationship with each other. And there are some things that, um, that happen in us, that heal in us, and that we learn and we grow from, that we mature uh, when we have human relationships as well. And that those human relationships, as you probably know, don't need to be romantic in nature um, in order for us to be able to be gifts of self, in order for us to like know that someone actually loves us back and that we actually can get out of ourselves and lay down our lives um, for the other person. They don't have to be romantic in, in, in nature, but they can be very healing when they have this orientation that's like, yes, this is for the good of each other. So yeah. I know this might be a kind of a vague and general uh, response, but I would say that, yes, the deeper, I, so here's an example. I, I, I know a young woman who has a really uh, difficult relationship with her father. And so for her, talking with Jesus in prayer is really easy. In fact, she has just this great uh, way of, of talking about in her, she described her prayer of just this like, this closeness she experiences with, with God, the son, with Jesus himself in her prayer. But she says, but when I try to talk to God, the father, when I try to enter into his presence, I have this, my, something in my heart recoils because my own father was, uh, uh, was not great. And in whatever re way he wasn't great, he wasn't great. And she carries that wound, but she also knows, but God, the father is not my father. <laughs> and so that has to be healed because I know God wants this. I know he wants to be my dad and he, he, he has made me his daughter. And so for me to be fully free and to be fully the woman that God's called me to be is to let myself be loved by the father. And so again, here's an example where here's a father wound that she experiences that it ra and then it radiates out into her relationships with men and, and, and trust and in particular ways and particularly trust with men who are kind of father figures. And that's the particular wound she experiences. And what it sounds like your experience is the, a similar wound with just a slightly different effect. Whereas for her, it was to stay away from those men. For you, it might be to be attracted to those men. And, yeah. but the, the, the result or the, the solution might be similar, which is a draw near to God, the father, to know that he loves you already, to know that he is close with you, to know that you have access to his heart, I think is a good step. Yeah. And, you know, and, and I would agree with all that. And then also add on to that. Like you need friendships with other men. It's so important. And you can find some of that community through organizations like Eden Invitation or Courage. Yeah. But I don't think it's enough just to find fellowship with other guys who experience same sex attractions and pursuing chastity. You need friendships with just guys in general. 
whether it's by plugging into your young adult community in your diocese or whatever, that masculine affirmation, approval, and brotherhood, I think it's just going to be so healing to be loved for who you are. But a lot of times when we grow up in adolescence, you're not surrounded by guys of the maturity level that they're comfortable. Well, if that's the guy who experiences same-sex attractions, well, I got to be over here because I can't be associated with him. And then we grow up with this mentality of like, oh, well, the, the, the manly men are over there, but they'll have nothing to do with me. But, you know, thanks be to God, hopefully in your faith community, you can find good godly men who are not worried about being friends with someone who experiences different attractions than they do. Because imagine if you had a guy who lived a promiscuous life with women, went, women, went through a healing process, and then started to discover friendships with women as sisters in Christ. Like how healing that could potentially be to him to actually experience a sister friendship with women, not for something he could potentially get from them by being all charming in the conversations and hoping it's going to lead somewhere, but just to receive feminine love and to give his masculine love in a masculine feminine friendship would be such a huge step of growth for this guy. And so I think in the same respect, you just need companionship with men in general as your brothers. And so it's not God or the guys, it's both. And so if you haven't found those guys yet, um, just pray, put yourself out there, whether it's the young adult circles in your community. Uh, but, but yeah, you deserve that love. And as your brothers and father in Christ, uh, we love you as well and are praying for you. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that little clip, but if you want to see the whole episode where this came from, just click the link here. And in the meantime, we want to invite you to help us share this message, and there's a couple things you can do real quick. Number one, if you like or comment or share this video, YouTube will actually show it to more people. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. We release videos every single day, and you'll be notified as soon as those come out. If you want to help us also to spread this message, you can support us at Patreon dot com slash Jason Everett that helps us to create these videos and show them to the whole world. God bless.